Hello guys, yo, how you doing? So we just saw how to create a restful web services. Uh, not create, how to consume. So we just consume the weather web services by using the parameters like latitude and longitude and getting the weather information. So uh, I'm just continuing the same video. Uh, so in this video, we are trying to do something little bit special that is we are trying to proxy the web services so what exactly does it mean so in extension to the same project um, i have a project made for you before just like follow my previous video on the same how to consume the weather web services using apache cxf okay so in that video uh it's really clear on how to consume so after you consume i have two method two methods to implement uh, that is by using the console java application we can uh, do that and that is in this way let me just quickly show you again so when i right click and run the program on java application it asks me for the latitude give some value and the longitude and it will give you up the um, the weather service whether it is clean or place whatever so based on the latitude and longitude so this is what we just saw on how to build now we are going a step forward what we are trying here is to change this uh, url to a different URL but still we are trying to consume and reproduce the same services that is called the proxying so uh, to be clear let me just uh, take a new word document and explain you in briefly on what we're trying to do so we here we are um, HTTP colon slash slash and some weather API um, slash some uh, services uh, and, and giving some query params like latitude equal to blah blah and uh, longitude equal to some values and app id equal to some value so this is how we're trying to uh, consume the services right if you remember so what we are trying to do now is this services will proxy that into the following like if you deploy the um, service locally then it will be local host colon 880 class flash the project name and the query params like uh, longitude and equal to something and latitude equal to something and app id equal to something so this is what we're trying to do so technically what we are trying to do is we are just proxying till here do you understand what i'm saying we are trying to do what you reproduce we are trying to reproduce we are just uh, So this is what we are trying to do. We are just uh, changing the host and the address of the services from that service to this service. So technically behind the scenes we are consuming all the services and we are reproducing them using our own customized URL. This is called processing the weather service. So to do that we are doing that in our local machine. So make sure you have a server set up. Either it can be Apache Tomcat or uh, it can be either WebSphere, WebLogic, any kind of web, ser web server should be installed in the Eclipse and configured. So here we are and uh, let me just explain on what I am doing here. So we have just seen this uh, console application. Don't worry about that. Uh, but make sure you just append the project. I mean just put the new controller over here 
first I, I named it as the first controller so in this class what we're trying to do is we are still taking the values of latitude and longitude into the string and this is a servlet to create that go to the source uh, go to the source folder and click on new and select the servlet so you'll get the servlet when you click on that and uh, give the first controller name over here and uh, the 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 source folder would be the same so this is how you create a servlet and then you'll get a bunch of code over there and just try to remove everything in between uh, the do post and the first controller class we don't really need those methods so just uh, remove them or delete them then in the post do post method mm, we'll take everything uh, we need like we are taking the latitude long, long values into the string latitude and lo longitude values into the string longitude and this is you, you this, this uh, comes to the request right i mean when i use when a brow when in the browser the user enters the latitude and longitude and he sends or enters or clicks go uh, right so during that process that is a request sent to our system so we are taking the values or parameters from that request so we are using a request dot get parameters and we are taking the latitude and longitude and then i'm just uh, printing out in the console for just for the validation and also i'm getting the setting the value values from the session to the session so here what is we are doing is in the request dot get session and setting the attributes to latitude and longitude so this will be remains throughout the session is expired so in this way we set the both the values for the latitude and longitude and uh, we are creating um, a object for the previous class here because we just uh, we are using the uh, url right uh, and passing the uh, parameters to the url so we are calling this object and this method um, over here um, by calling this we will run the service behind and uh, we will try to grab that output using the response got set content type to the application translation json so here you can have various formats like xml and uh, plain text and whatever you want uh, it should support I guess and uh, response dot get content type will be setting the content type and printing the output is as simple as ri writing the print writer print writer is something which will be used to print on the page like on JSP mainly uh, so we are using the print writer out equal to response dot get writer um, and uh, just uh, printing the stuff and flush will like it will turn uh, it will completely do the process and after that um, we are having the output and we need to grab that output into the web page so we are we are we are redirecting to the output.jsp and the main point uh, is that uh, you need to have a index.html written so index.html is something it, it like it acts like a welcome page for the our web application so this is really simple really simple like just having a uh, h1 tag over here which you can see and uh, two values uh, latitude and longitude which takes the values from the web page and uh, when the user clicks on submit button um, it will just go to this action text to dot first controller so it will strictly come over here and uh, takes the values and go to the next class over here and it goes in here and here it will consume and reproduce the uh, consume and gives the output so the output we are pre printing over here with the local host and the uh, the printed content is still in the uh, out dot print print so that we are send you using in the output dot jsp in the output dot jsp try to uh, put in this uh, little code over here uh, in the try block that we that will help you to uh, grab all the you know like content which we are trying to display in this way we <coughs> uh, we will get what we decide to do now so let me run this for you guys uh, just right click and run as web on web server okay 
and finish let's wait for a few minutes and it's starting um, you can see over here you have plenty of all here we go so here we the web server itself launches the application uh, here it's ask, asking for the values like latitude longitude and submit and there you go you just proxy the service right if you aren't satisfied you can go to the web browser and try here oops I didn't copy that copy and then give the values submit should work maybe it's some browser issue but you can still try in different browsers like I'm trying on Firefox there you go we got the output so this is how it works I don't know what problem with the Chrome so guys the, this is pretty simple try to have the same setup like index.html output.jsp I'll try to get, give you all guys all the code in the car down in the video and thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this video have a good practice guys thank you